DCS Warbird. Scripted mission. Real easy to set up. And there's our target area. An allied airfield. Normandy map. Alright. Hit the C button. Master arm on. And then we'll flip our center switch. To arm our 500 kilogram bomb. And we're taking up the FW D9. And it's the paying customer review. Alright, pull the stick back to lock that tail wheel. And the trick is to throttle up to about 80%. Then, once you get some speed up, you let off the stick. And just let the aircraft come off the ground with the flaps. Alright, it's real easy to find where you're going using the knee board. You just press the K key or the F10 key the overhead map. Uh, the plane, it accelerates fast. It's amazing. And you don't have to worry about burning up the engine like you do on the Mustang. It's a major plus. You do have to open up your radiators, um, but overall, even if you don't, the plane engine is very forgiving. All right, we're heading to the target airfield. We have one wingman. And we can make out the targets on the ground by using the zoom feature. Now, a negative I have is I have a lot of trouble spotting enemy aircraft. So I'm getting ready to turn in. And this in the scripted mission, I know if I drop the bombs in the trigger zone, it will activate to the USAF P-47s. All right, I give my wingman commands to attack the AAA. And I'm in on the lineup. One out. Oh, and I missed. Got credit for destroying something on the ground, but not the primary. And there they are, getting underway. Now the Spain, plane spotting issue is mine alone. Some other people don't seem to have a problem at all, but I do. And I'm running a monitor at 2560 times 1440. I've got the dots on. And I'm all over the place with the guns. Here I score multiple hits, taking good use of the lead computating gun sight, which is really nice to use. Just off to our right, our wingman scores a Direct hit on the AAA battery. Contact target, 
All right, we're going to follow up on the second fighter that we missed on the first pass. Lining up. And there's our wingman. And our wingman did a great job. Get out, man. Get out! I think he got out. Now I have to say there's quite a bit more immersion with this DCS version of the FW-190. Oh, we got credit for air to air. Let's line up for a gun run. And I hose the, the gun pass. How can you miss a B-17 parked on the ground? All right. Uh, maneuvering wise, the trick of turning a FW-190 D-9 is, is the roll. You go with the roll and then you give it some rudder. And there's some really great pilots that handle that good. I'm, I'm still not there yet. All right, lining up. Let's take a look from the exterior. Uh, this is a much better pass. The D9 has tremendous guns. Look at that. All right, let's take her back in. Landing is tricky, uh, but it's not as difficult as the takeoff. You wanna make sure you have pull flaps down. It's already mapped on your keyboard. It's the F key, F is in Frank. And I have flaps up and down. Uh, keys mapped on my joystick. The no, oh, yes. All right. This plane is hard to slow down. It just flies fast, which is great. Once you get her slowed down to under 200 kilometers an hour, you just kind of glide in and just give it a little throttle. Get the nose up. and touchdown. Pull your stick back to lock your tail wheel. Otherwise, you'll go all over the place. Now, to correct, you just use your toe brake. So I'm going to the left, so right toe brake, right toe brake. And there you go. No panic. And recovery. And you feel the landing in DCS. The bumps. Look at that, full flaps down. I gotta fly some intended roll air superiority flying later. And there we go. All right, let's shut her down. All right, let's check our score. One of the nice things about DCS, it gives you uh, credit for collateral damage. Our 500 kilogram bomb, uh, definitely hit uh, more than one target and we completed our mission objective
let's take a look at our initial takeoff. Well, guys, uh, being that it's a, a pay to fly, um, I, I recommend it, um, but you're going to have to be uh, one that practices. Uh, this plane is not for the squeamish. Uh, but once you get good at it, you're going to really like it. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you like this channel. And we'll see you up again soon.